Let's talk about the interface for MYOB. I know there appears to be a lot of icons and information to decipher on the screen, but it's fairly simple once you get the hang of it. Across the top of the screen is a bar depicting the student's score and resources they have to spend. Checking displays the amount of money that students think they have available to spend. The icon on the checking account display turns red if the ledger needs to be updated. Savings displays the total amount of money held in a student's savings account. Debt displays the student's total debt load, which may include loans and credit card debt, depending on the scenario they are playing. Comfort is a measure of the student's general well-being. We will discuss comfort further in the next video. The week counter tells the student which week of the game they are in and lets them know how many weeks they have left to meet their goals. Time points displays how much time the students have to spend on actions in the current week. This column down the right hand side of the screen contains the various menus the student will interact with over the course of the game. The goals menu at the top provides the student with information about the starting and win conditions for the scenario. The ledger is where the students sort and log their receipts and monitor their spending compared with the budget they set. If students fail to log their receipts, their account balance will not update. That means the student might believe they have more money than they actually have, causing them to overdraw their account. The bank menu allows players to transfer money between checking and savings, and in certain scenarios, it will also allow them to make investments or apply for credit cards. The personal actions menu is where students spend and acquire the resources, time, comfort, and money. Learning to balance their time is just as important as balancing their budget. The shop menu is where students can spend their money to upgrade their apartment or house through buying furniture or signing up for cable or internet. All of these items increase their comfort level but cost money and time. The next icon allows the player to rearrange their apartment to their liking. The gear menu at the bottom allows students to change the game language, adjust the sound, or quit the scenario and return to the main menu. The next video will cover how the game is played.